Welcome back. Here we are with another thrifted haul. We're going to go over some of the details on how it fits and some things we need to change to make it more of my aesthetic. Uh, now, I do apologize for the audio change. I got to use this microphone setup because my microphone broke. Can't use it anymore. Got to wait for a new one and we're just connecting it to the phone. So hopefully the audio is good at the end of this. Um, obviously, I probably wouldn't have even posted it if the audio is terrible. So we know it's kind of good. Uh, but let's talk about this piece that I got. It's 100% wool made from a company called English Manor. I'm not 100% familiar with this company myself, uh, but it feels really good. It feels like there's a good amount of make in the chest, which is something that I always look for when we are going shopping. It's just, it feels like there is some construction in there. Shoulder pads don't feel actually too thick, which I like, um, but look at that plaid. So brighten that up for you guys. You can kind of see that there's like some red, there's some yellow, there's some green, there's some blue, and then a dark gray Glen check through the back. So this thing is gonna be a really cool piece once we get it all said and done. A few things that I'm contemplate changing um, just as a whole is actually on the pants. So now the pants are a little bit off for me and there's a few fit issues that you'll see in the video, um, but mainly it's the rise is a little bit low. So we're gonna do some things to see if we can trick that into getting a little bit larger. Um, and also the length obviously needs to come up, but I'm a little bit um, on the fence. I, there's a bit of a flare. It's a wider bottom at the bottom, as you can see here. I don't know if I wanna keep that or not. I've been contemplating on a couple of my newer commission pieces that I was gonna make for the year 2023, which we are in now, um, with a more of a bell bottom flare to it. And since these kind of already have it in there, I think I'm going to incorporate it, maybe slim down the knee a little bit, open up the flare at the bottom. Um, but they definitely need hemmed. I love this pleat in there. Uh, I don't know if I wanna just get rid of the belt loops altogether and go for side adjusters, but we'll make that decision up. Might keep it with a belt because I don't wear a lot of suits with belts and this might be a nice little change. So moving on to the fit, we're going to talk about the jacket first. You can see there's a lot of extra fabric in the body, but the shoulders aren't too bad. There's a little bit of rippling that should be taken care of with proper pressing, but overall the jacket fits pretty good. Moving on to the pant waist, we've got a lot of extra room in there that we've got to take care of. Um, I, there's the belt loops. Don't know if we're going to get rid of them. Um, but moving down to the bottom of the pants, kind of showing the flared edge, um, Obviously we want to hem them, but I think I want to keep that extra long opening. I think it could be pretty cool. So now to explain how I want to go about rising the rise, like we talked about, because it was sitting a little low on my hip, is all going to be taken in on the crotch seam. So you turn it inside out, and it's that seam that meets right underneath the inseam going down. What we want to do is we want to expand that as much as possible, because when you have the U kind of shape of the crotch, when you let out that bottom piece, it's going to lift the back of the U, giving you a bigger rise. It makes the pants a little looser, but it should do the trick. Additionally, on top of that, we're going to take in the waist, not a ton, just enough to snug it on my waist and then take it down into the seat, not all the way down. Uh, and then again, like I showed you, we're gonna let out that crotch to rise the rise. And then this is the fun part because we want a bell bottom flare and to accentuate that, we wanna take it in slightly on the knee letting it back out tapered nicely, almost making like a little, just little hump right there. And then obviously hem it, but we'll end up doing that once we get all the other jobs done to make sure that it's perfect. Lastly, moving on to the jacket, we talked about this already. It's gonna be a pretty easy job taking in those sides and not even that much because I want this to be a wider fit jacket anyways. Uh, but without there being any vents, this makes it extremely easy. It's pretty much just like taking in the sides of a pair of pants or tapering pants. So that won't be too much, nothing interesting to show there. So like with every project, we're gonna start by taking apart all the seams that need to come undone for us to do our job. So waist, crotch, and the hem mark. Uh, once those are done, you can iron them flat and get ready for marking. Now for the crotch piece, like I was talking about, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna let it out to its max and kind of pull it right back in, right above the knee, because we don't want too much room in there. You can kind of see how we're doing that. We're just taking this back panel, we're gonna remove it and put the front creased part it's kind of hard to see right on that line and we're just going to sew it straight together. That way it's going to give us as much room as possible without messing with the front panel. So here, because it's a little hard to see on the dark fabric, I wanted to show you a diagram of what we're going to be doing. So we have the white line here, which is the original stitching, and then this blue line, which is going to be the stitching that we're going to create on the sewing machine. You can see as we start at the top of the crotch seam, we're going to taper down. We're going to have it intersect right with that original stitching right around that knee point. 
Then we're going to continue down, bringing in the knee slightly so that it creates a bit of a taper. And as you see at the bottom, we're going to ease it out back to the hem to have that flare. Probably gonna have a better transition than that, but it just gives you an idea of where we stand with the alterations. And then on the other side, we're going to do something very similar, but just taking in the knee and then hemming out to the bottom because we don't have to touch the crotch on the out seam. So we've got the pants pretty much wrapped up where we want them. Waist is in, we are taking out the crotch, taking in the knee, but tapering back out to the bell bottom bottoms. We're going to do the hem once we try it on and everything is where we want it. Um, now we're just moving on to the jacket. And again, we're just taking in these sides. Super simple. If you want to see a full tutorial on this, you can check out our other videos. Uh, but because this is a side seam without a vent, it's just like tapering a pair of pants. We're going to go in there, start at the top, zip it down to the bottom, make sure everything works. So we're going to just zip this through and then we're going to show you how it all fits and any fine tunings we have to do from there. All right, stay tuned. So here we go. As you can see, the pants are at a higher rise from where I like them, from where they used to be, which was more on the natural hip bone. Obviously, the pants need to be hemmed up a good bit, but I'm really liking the way that it's bell bottoming at the bottom. So I think I'm going to keep them a little bit longer than also I normally do. I kind of like the shorter, preppier look, but this kind of outfit, I think more of a longer, longer pant cuff, something like that would be more ideal. Uh, just gonna ex accentuate the leg, flare a little bit more. But what do you guys think? Here we go. Now we're gonna finish up on that hem. Now with any professional tailoring job, you wanna finish with a good pressing of your garment. Now naturally this is thrifted, so it will end up going to the dry cleaner for a more permanent press, but to have a professional aesthetic, press your pieces. So now let's accessorize the outfit because why not to give the final reveal. I am very happy with how this turned out. And again, very light alterations. I think the way that the pant falls is exactly what I was going for. The jacket waist is a lot better and I don't think it has too slim of a silhouette, which I also appreciate. The pleats are pressed in there nicely and the waistband is not too loose. Everything about it gives me the exact right vibes I was going for. Uh, a little bit of a modern spin on a vintage piece. The only thing I really want to touch up later is those shoulders. There's a lot of wrinkling, but I think a good dry cleaning press is going to solve that for me. And that's it. This is how the suit ended up working out. I might do a few more tweaks just so that that pleat in the front is a little bit more visible just by letting out the seat a little bit more. Uh, but otherwise, very happy with the fit. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat it. So what do you guys think? Should I do more of these videos where I take old things and repurpose them to show you guys my thought process? Um, just let me know in the comments. And if you had any questions or wanted to see more in-depth tutorials on any of this stuff, leave a comment, shoot me a message, email, whatever it takes to get a hold of me. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but thank you guys for watching today. If there's anything that you learned or liked or want to share with others, please do so. It helps us get recognized and helps us build this channel. Thank you guys for being here. And for the first video of 2023, I want to wish you a good one. Talk to you guys. Bye.